Good day, we shall discuss the past year for the chapter 14, electric current. Let's review the formulas first. So one is the electric current, I equal to dQ dt equal to Ne. So the N here is the rate of electron flow or the number of electron flow in one second. So there is also another few ends that you need to revise again. Okay, make sure you are clear what are the difference between those and. Okay, so if we look at the second thing, which is the drift velocity, I equal to nav, where we have the end here is the electron density. So make sure you understand what are the symbol is representing. So the third thing is about current density. So you don't need to learn about the derivations. It is given as J equal to I over A, or equal to sigma E, okay, where the sigma is the conductivity. So you also need to learn how to prove the equivalence between the V equal to IR, which is the Ohm's law, and the J equal to sigma E. So for the theory, I leave it for your own to do revision. Let's move on to the past year discussion. First is uh, 2022, which is true about drift velocity of free electron in a metal wire after a uh, potential difference is applied across the wire. So we have potential difference is applied, so we will have drift velocity. And we are given with I equal to nav, and I is also equal to V over R. So let us check one by one. First is directly proportional to the number of free electrons per unit volume. Okay, this is the electron density. So V should be inversely proportional to N. Next is inversely proportional to the potential difference, which is wrong. Okay, we have the drift velocity is directly proportional to the potential difference. C, directly proportional to the cross-sectional area, which is also wrong. Okay, well, it is uh, clear that V is inversely proportional to the area. So lastly, we have is inversely proportional to the resistivity, correct? Okay, so drift velocity is inversely proportional to the resistance, where the resistance is directly proportional to the resistivity. Okay, so answer is D. We move on to the next question. A copper cable is used to supply current of 100 ampere. If the free electron density of copper is this, and the drift velocity of the free electron is this, what is the radius of the cable? So here is quite straightforward. We just use the formula I equals to nav. Okay, we have all the values here. Okay, we have the current, 100, electron density, area should be pi r squared. Okay, so a cable usually is a cylinder shape. Okay, and then uh, drift velocity is given and the uh, electron charge. Okay, so solve these equations, you can get the radius is about 2.49 times 10 for negative 3 meter. Okay, so answer is a millimeter, answer is B, 2.5 millimeter. So now we shall proceed to the next topic, which is about the conductivity and the resistivity. So we have learned how to derive the formula of the conductivity, sigma is equal to Ne squared T over M. And make sure you still know how to derive the formula. And then we also have the formula for the resistivity equal to Ra over M. So you have learned the relationship between the conductivity and the resistivity. They are reciprocal of one another. So we can reuse again the formula, such as the sigma is the reciprocal of R A over L and rho is the res reciprocal of N e squared T over M. Okay, so this depends on the question that you may solve in future. So one more thing that you need to know is about the effect of temperature change on the conductor, semiconductor and superconductor. So when the temperature increase, okay, so we can see that conductor has higher resistivity. For semiconductor, we have lower resistivity. And as for the superconductor, it is a special case where we have zero resistivity at the temperature of critical temperature or lower. Okay, so why it is so okay for the first case and second case? Let us see the passive question in 2022, Ulangan paper. So when a metal rod is heated, okay, so uh, when the temperature is increased, conductivity is decreasing. Why? Okay, because the, the mean time between the collision of electron decreases, okay, means more frequent collision. Okay, so with shorter time, we have lower conductivity or we have higher resistivity. Okay, that's is what happening in the metal rod or a conductor. Okay, so answer is D. And as for the semiconductor, we shall look at the passage in 2023. Resistivity of a semiconductor decreases when the temperature increases because we have more free electron. Okay, answer is C. Number of charge carrier per unit volume increases. Okay, so, so where we have the higher electron density, okay, higher free electron density, we have higher conductivity and we have lower resistivity. 
So I hope you are now are clear with the resistivity and the conductivity. They could be confused, but actually not difficult to understand okay, if you look at the formula. So now we're left with one last question, which is a 2022 question six. Let's look at the question. A wire of length two meter has a cross sectional area of 0 0.05 cm squared. Resistance is 0 0.35 ohm. What is the electrical conductivity of the wire? So if we review each of the variables given the length, area, and the resistance, it is a formula for the resistivity. So that's why I mentioned they are related, they can be used. Okay, so like the sigma is the reciprocal of one of the resistivity, okay, reciprocal of the resistivity. So sigma is equal to L over RA. Okay, so we can use the formula resistivity to obtain the conductivity. Okay, so in short, just use this formula, okay. So apply the values and you can obtain the conductivity is 1.14 times 10 power 6 per ohm per meter. So the answer here is A. Okay, so that's all for this chapters. Thank you.